Hello guys and welcome to another Whoa 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 just stop it right there. Um I figured out according to the clicks on my last two videos, you guys don't even like Microsoft Ryan. So I decided to Yeah to try out a new style for this channel by using my own voice instead. If you think it was a wise choice, please let me know in the comments. Uh, leave a like or subscribe if you don't have yet. Speaking of subscribing, I'm really very proud of the growth this channel made during the last month. Before working on League of Legends guides, this channel mm, only had a few friends of mine um, subscribing for no good reason. But the number of subscribers has doubled. And I just wanted to say thank you for your support. It really means a lot to me waking up every morning, checking my channel and noticing that another person is following me. So, having that said, here's my Hextech Canon guide some of you guys asked for. This guide is about using the new Hextech Protobelt on a champion that is already pretty mobile. So he gets an extra escape or gap closer and nice stats as well. Um, ah yeah, um, these are my runes and these are my masteries. So first of all, like in every other game you play a new champion or try something weird, mute all players in the game. They might flame you or your mother, so don't bother about that. Now while the laning phase is active, try to punish every single CS the enemy is going for. Hit him with your shuriken, try to get out um, some of your W empowered auto attacks, followed by pressing W to get out even more damage. Now rinse and repeat that until your lane opponent has to go back to base or throws his keyboard out of the window. If your enemy starts trading with you, just retreat with your E and give him hell while he runs back to his minions. Okay, now let's move on. Um, I don't think I have to teach you how to farm minions, right? So on your first back, you want to buy the AP component of your ultimate item. With this component, Harassing your enemy will become even more annoying. Now here's the difference between Singed or Trindamir and teamfight champs like Cannon. You want to get kills. You want to get fed to shine in teamfights later on. So you have to be sure to get kills, even if it's an overkill like this one. So, you got your first kill and enough gold to get the Hextech Protobelt. Now let the snowball get rolling. Cannon is a nice champ to abuse a lead on the lane opponent. Now go in for kills every time your ult is up to become an even bigger snowball. Use your protobelt to close gaps and chase enemies more easily. If your ult is up 
and your proto belters off cooldown, use your lead to tower dive even beefy temps. Your damage output is so insane, they don't even think about getting dove before it's too late. Ah yes, and the best tip I can give you is to not double click or spam your E while getting chased. It will be turned off as soon as you click it a second time and your only escape mechanic is gone. There are many ways to use your proto belt. You can use it as a damage tool, but you can also use it defensively to escape even ganks from champs with huge gap closers. Ah <laughs> yes, and this is why you should always play cannon with teleport. Easy kills for you, and the snowball gets bigger and bigger. As I mentioned before, getting fed is your main priority. A fed cannon wins team fights almost alone, so go and take everything you get. Before the proto belt was released, Zonia's hourglass was the main item for cannon. So it's the second item now. It will help you survive teamfights even though your ult is still ticking during the usage. Here's another free kill, so go for it. Aurelia seems to not understand that my tower is taboo. Every kill lets your snowball grow. La 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 la! Grow, little snowball, grow! So for the next item, you want to get Riley's Crystal Scepter. This will prevent enemies from getting anywhere near their towers. Well, having these items, you just want to keep a lookout for potential teamfights and release hell. I will just let the game run down to the end now, because it's pretty much won by now, and every other item is situational. Well, I hope you guys liked my Hextech Candle Guide. If yes, please leave a like or subscribe if you haven't done yet. For more League of Legends guides or challenges you guys throw at me. Coming up is a guide on middle sticks, Vi in the jungle and Bruiser Warwick on top lane. So stay tuned. I'm Audi. Hooah!